Hey, it's Sean Rice from Haas Magazine, and we are here in beautiful Jamaica with the former undisputed heavyweight champ of the world, Lennox Lewis. Hey, how you doing? Listen, I have to tell you, you've been beyond the most gracious host we've ever had. Oh, I, thank I you. I really appreciate you having us here. Thank you. This is a spectacular setting and a spectacular home. What's, what was the inspiration behind this place? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, this house... Um, was really just inspired by I wanted to um, have a nice type of uh, relaxed house, great uh, environment, indoor outdoor type of vibe and the, me and the architects put our heads together and said this is the kind of house I need and he did a great job at it. So did you get to pick the interior or is that your wife's job that got to pick all the interior? No I got to I got to pick a lot of the interior you know on our trips to like New York or, or Toronto or even England, we uh, you know always go shopping and, and pick out different things that would really fit the house. So there must have been some time in your life where you said, man, I could really make a career out of this boxing. What was your kind of sort of magic moment? I would say that my magic moment was actually going to the gym and you know where a trainer says, hey, you're a big kid. I want you to move around with this small kid. So I moved around with this small kid and it was like a game of tag and it was exciting because, you know, this person was trying to tag me. I was trying to tag that person and not get tagged myself. Right. So I had to move my feet and we had to move our heads and we had to deke each other out. So that was the exciting part. And that's what I said to myself, well, you know, I can do this. If this is a profession, I can do it. But first, the amateur aspect of it was, you know, trying to get to the Olympics and winning you know, the all Ontarios and then winning the Canadians and right. then getting picked for the Olympic team and going against and representing uh, Canada for the Olympics and being one of the only countries to really um, come out and uh, be good at boxing. Awesome. So in your whole boxing career, is there sort of one moment that you sort of replay in your mind all the time? In my boxing, you know, there's so many different moments, but if I would have to say one, it would have to be the Olympics, the 88 Olympics. I've been to, I went to the 84 Olympics where, uh, you know, I lost against Tyrell Biggs in the quarterfinals right. and got a bronze medal. Uh, but the 88 Olympics where I decided that I'm still young and, you know, I've still got a, a lot of time and I'm still going to school. Uh, let me go for the 88 Olympics where I'll be a lot better, have a lot more experience and let me win a gold medal for Canada. That was awesome. I must say as a Canadian, yeah. that was a great moment for Canada. For yes, sure. it was. So have you ever thought of coming out of retirement? All the time. I mean, the fact that there's so much money to be made right now in boxing and I find it easy. But, you know, I said to myself, you know, when I when I retire, I wanted to retire on top, obviously right. with all my faculties. Going back into the sport, you know, I might, might do myself a, um, a misjustice. And if I lose, people say, well, why did you take it up again? Right. You know, so I'm happy at the legacy I've left. And it's for others to try and conquer. So now the boxing is over. I know you got some really cool passions. And, and chess, I understand, is a great passion of yours. Yeah, I love chess. I love uh, playing chess. I've always played chess. Uh, you know, I've got a chess app coming out. Where oh, I'm awesome. just, yeah, I'm coming out with uh, uh, because I love chess so much. I want to spread it to the world, and I feel that you know, kids that play chess, they're not thinking about going out and robbing somebody because they realize what happens after that. So they've really uh, moved three steps ahead. So that's what chess uh, really encourages: thinking, strategy, and you know, just being wise in the world. So let's say you did decide to come out of retirement. Who'd you fight? The first guy that I would fight. I don't know, it would have to be maybe the champion. And uh, the t champion right now is Tyson Fury, so me and him would be a great fight. That'd be awesome. Yeah. 